Matt Jesus on a pilgrimage, still walking. I'm Andy Doyle, the Bishop of Texas, and that's my six-word autobiography. My hope for this podcast is to walk with you and talk with you about God, the church, and where we're headed next. I am Art Callahan's brother. <laughs> that I'm not Art Callahan's brother, actually. Uh, I am Andy Doyle. I'm the Bishop of the Diocese of Texas, Chairman of the Board, and I'm pleased to be with you in this holiest of holy weeks in our Christian tradition. It is a thing that has been going on for over 2,000 years when Christians pause in their life, wherever they are, to consider the Holy Week events of the Last Supper, which we just heard from our Gospel of the crucifixion of Jesus' death and then his resurrection, which will be celebrated in Christian churches all over the world on Sunday. It is the holiest of holy days for us. Doing all of this reminds us of God's love. God's love for us, God's love for the world. It is a commandment to love others as God has loved us. It is the closing closing sentences of that gospel. And I guess I stand before you today, I'm aware that that there, you know, you are students and faculty and administration here this day. Um, Some of you uh, have already found your life's work in that. Others of you are just beginning a long process of discernment. Um, You are teachers and administrators, coaches and the like. Some of you are going to be those things, or doctors or nurses and business folks, techies, authors, lawyers, whatever you dream of today. It can be a thousand things under the sun. I used to work at a tobacco store, newspaper editor, equipment clerk, apartment yard and trash guy for over a year construction superintendent, activities director at a boarding school, Episcopal boarding school, and eventually a priest. So who knows where you're going to find yourselves, the rest of you. But I know this. You'll be tempted to approach life in a variety of different ways. One would be to approach life from an unexamined perspective which centers on your own wants and needs. And by the way, this is completely normal. (laughs) You may also approach life letting the world's values rule your responses and actions. Unfortunately, that also is normal. But what the life and death of Jesus tell us as Christians is this. It actually matters how you live the life that you are given in your relationships and in this place and in the workplace that you will inhabit in the future. It is true that you all will be remembered here at EHS as sports heroes and artists and dancers, leaders in government, actors, singers. That my friends, will only last for a season. But in the years to come as alums, I promise you, you will be remembered more by how you treat each other. And this actually will be the lasting effect of your time at Episcopal High School. This will also be true in life that is ahead of you. As leaders and bosses and co-workers, you will be remembered in how you treat one another. It will be true in your families as well. Healthy families are based in how much love you can give away to each other rather than how much love you get. God invites us, especially in this Holy Week, to look upon the cross and to see what unbounded sacrificial love looks like, and then to attempt in our own lives to merit it. 
The truth is there are lots of ways to approach a job, telling someone a hard truth, firing someone, dealing with failure, dealing with the failure in your own relationships in this place. Even the excitement of change or new possibilities are those who need hope. But the truth is, love will always be the best way to approach these things. The good times, the rough times, the meh times are all transformed. If you enter those moments now and in your future with love, a love that treats others as the beloved of Christ, as those within Christ's embrace with the dignity of the gospel of the cross in our tradition. Love, you see, actually matters. It will change things in your life. It will be what is most memorable. And I tell you, love is a much better narrative in which to live and through which to see the world. So whether you are a Christian or not, in the next few holy days, see these as opportunities to be reminded of the possibility that love will break open a new and different life for you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for listening. Join me in conversation on Twitter, at Texas Bishop. And spread the word about this podcast by leaving a review on iTunes. Thank you.